Alright, so in this video I'm just going to show you how to sketch a parabola that's in standard form. Um, so when I'm in standard form, we're looking at an equation, a quadratic equation like this, or a trinomial. We've got three terms on the right hand side, uh, and we're going to use the sum and product method to factorise. But we're also going to determine a few other points. Now, starting with the, the y-intercept, so let's just get straight into an example, which I have here. Um, that should, in fact, be y equals x squared. Sorry, that's a bit messy. Uh, y equals x squared takes its x plus 5. So, the y-intercept is the first... In fact, let's colour code this. y-intercept is going to be the first point I'm going to find to help me sketch this. So to determine the y-intercept, I'm going to substitute in x equals 0 into my equation. So then the y value is going to be equal to, instead of x squared, 0 squared, minus 6 times by 0, plus 5, uh, which is 0 squared is 0, minus 6 times 0 is 0, plus 5 is positive 5. So it gives me the coordinate for my y-intercept of 0, 5. Okay, seems like a lot of work to go through, but basically you can just look at your equation and that constant term will be the value of the y-intercept. Okay, my x-intercepts or intercepts, don't know yet. Um, to determine my x-intercept, you would sub in to the equation y is equal to 0. So then that becomes 0 equals x squared take 6x plus 5. Now, in order to solve this, I need to factorise the right-hand side of the equation first. So, quick check on the uh, three terms on the right-hand side. If, if, is there any common factor? If there is, we can factorise it that way first. No? Good. So what's the other method we use with three terms? How would I factorise this? Sum and product method. So two numbers that add to give me minus 6 and multiply to give me positive 5, remember? What do you know about both those numbers? They're both going to be what? Positive or negative? Or Remember this type of factorising? So x. Uh, but when we multiply them, they both create positive. So two of the same symbols will give us a positive. So they're both either positive numbers or they're both either negative numbers. But because they add to give me a negative number, they're actually both Negative numbers. So, Marie, do you know what the two numbers are? Two and three? Minus two times minus three is five. So, the only factors of five. It's a prime number. Yeah. Which means. Good. That's it. So, minus one and minus five are the numbers. Good. That's it. So now I have to solve using the null factor law. Remember the null factor law? So if two, I guess two terms multiplied by each other equals zero, then either of those terms is equal to zero. In this case, if minus one plus one. Well, if x take one, if x take one times by x take five equals zero, then either x take one is equal to zero, or x take 5 is equal to 0. In this case, x would be equal to so I'd add one, I would solve it, add one on both sides. Which gives me x equals 1. That's it. Over here, x would be equal to Good, that's it. So my two x-intercepts, okay, my two x-intercepts are 1, 0, and 5, 0. 
okay? Now, one other point I want to find is the turning point. But in order to find the turning point, I'm going to first work out my axis of symmetry. Okay. Um, so it says, once the x-intercepts are known, the turning point can be found using symmetry. The axis of symmetry, which also the x-coordinate of the turning point, lies halfway between the x-intercepts. It's actually halfway between those two x-intercepts. And this diagram is actually the same as my equation here. Because my two intercepts are 1, 0 and 5, 0. Same as this one. All right. So the axis of symmetry for mine would also be x equals 3. But how do you determine that? You just work out the average of those two values. So add them together and divide by 2. So for me, for this equation anyway, the axis of symmetry is halfway between these two points. It would have to be 2, 0. No, 3, 0. Um, when we, oh, sorry, three divided by two. Um, you're right, it's three, but remember, axis of symmetry is literally just written as x equals three. Because remember, it's, it's, it's the line, it's that imaginary line. So it doesn't matter what the x is. The y, y. Well, now what I want to work out is my turning point or my vertex. So let's do that in red. And that'll be very similar. Well, to work out my vertex, what I'm going to do is substitute in the axis of symmetry value. Because remember, your, your vertex, whatever that is, will have a value that's the same, or the x value will be the same as the axis of symmetry. All right, so I'm going to substitute in 3 into that original equation. All right, so my vertex, substitute in in this case, the axis of symmetry is 3. So then, the y value would be equal to, going back to that original equation at the top, instead of x squared, I've got 3 squared. Take 6 minus 6 times 3 plus 5. And I just said to the guys, if you ever put well, that onto... So it would be 6, and then you do wrong. So it's 18, so 6k gives you 18, which makes it minus 12, plus 5 is minus 7. Good, close. That's, but 3 squared is... Oh, 9. Good. So what does that make? Minus 18. 9 take... 9 take 18. Minus 9. Minus 9, plus 5. Minus 4. Good. Minus 4. Good. Right. So we don't even need to calculate. So y equals... Minus 4, giving me the coordinates. 3 minus 4. Good. 3 minus 4 for our vertex. All right. So now, now I've, it is a lot of work. It is a lot of work. But I now have four points. I've got... Um, yeah. Yeah. Perfect. So I can sketch that now nicely. All right. And um, similar, but not in standard form. So now, anyway, just quickly to finish it off, um, I won't go through that last example. Draw a little number plane. Hopefully use a ruler or something like that. 0 minus 5, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is my y-intercept. My x-intercepts are 1, 0, and 2, 3, 5, 0. So I hope that's right. 3 minus 4. I know. I made a mistake there. Two, That's three, not going to have a middle point. Yeah. Two, three, one, two, three, four. I didn't make a mistake. All good. It's the coordinates of the turning point. Uh, so now I can sketch it based on those points. I can also, if I want, knowing that that's the axis of symmetry, throw in another point here because that's one, two, three away from the axis of symmetry. One, two, three is there. Uh -huh. And that's hopefully that helps you guys if you're watching at home. Like and subscribe.